Hello and welcome to Can TV Conversations. I'm Jake Bermonde and today we're talking about pop-up shops, the power of buying local. Joining me today is Monica Little. She is the co-owner of the Chicago Makers Pop-Up Shop. For our viewers who may be unaware, what is a pop-up shop? Yeah, so a pop-up shop is a short-term shop um, that usually opens in a local community. So with our pop-up shop, we have the Chicago Makers pop-up, and we originally opened in November of 2020, and it was a two-month pop-up just for the holiday season, and it went really well that we decided to extend it. So now we're more of an extended pop-up, and we're open for the next year. We reopened in January, uh, January 9th, and we're going to be in our new location until the end of 2021. But yeah, pop-up up in general is just uh, usually a short-term um, store that just kind of pops up and that's how it gets the name. Wow, that's that's incredible. And, and based off of your Instagram and your website, it seems like it's a collection of other small businesses that sell products at, at your physical location. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the reason that we first opened the pop-up shop in November is because Anna and I were both small business owners. So I own a skincare company called Plant Based Beauty. And then my business partner, Anna, she owns a candle company called Virtue Alchemy Candle Co. So when we first came together in November, um, this was obviously kind of peak second wave of COVID and a lot of the holiday markets were closed for small businesses, which is where we get a good majority of our sales in Q4. So Anna and I came together just trying to find a way to kind of survive um, during the holiday season. So we opened this store, but exactly like you said, in that first pop-up, we ended up having 27 small businesses total um, and everyone had their, either their own shelf or their own space on a table and they would sell their items um, and it was all local Chicago small businesses. And in our store now, I think we have about 32 small businesses, so a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it's a great community. Um, everyone's local Chicago small business, and we love all of them. It's some really, really good stuff. That's incredible. So how did, how did you find these over 30 local Chicago small businesses to be, to be a part of, of this pop-up shop? Yeah, very good question. So the small business community in Chicago, I feel like, is very close-knit. So Anna and I knew a good portion of the small businesses that we invited to the store when we first opened, either from seeing them at markets and kind of getting to know them or from social media. So social media has been huge to find other small businesses. Um, and a lot of people have heard about us and then reached out to us looking for opportunities. And as of right now, we have a wait list of over 400 small businesses in the Chicago area that are just waiting to kind of hear back when a spot opens up. Um, so yeah, the small business community in Chicago is awesome. There's so many really creative, talented people, and we've just been lucky to uh, be in a city where there's so many great businesses and people to work with. That is absolutely incredible. Um, so you said you know, the, the pop-up shop kind of started, you know, during the, the second wave of COVID when things were tough. And, and I know small businesses got hit really hard during, during the pandemic. Um, but so far, it seems like this pop-up shop is working and, and you're, you're able to, you know, bring this community together so everyone can, um, you know, survive and, and grow. Yeah, definitely. And I think a lot of like customers and just people in general want to support small businesses, especially um, with the pandemic and just knowing that small businesses really are struggling. We have so many awesome customers that come into our store. And I think more people in general just have the mindset to try to shop local um, to support these small businesses. So it's been going very well and the support of the community has been really, really, really helpful for everyone that's involved. That's fantastic. And, and your first pop-up market is this Saturday, May 1st. Um, yes. I'm curious, what are your plans for the event and uh, your expectations for them as a whole? Yeah, so we partnered with Hex Coffee. Um, they're a really cool coffee shop in Bucktown, and they have this awesome outdoor patio. So we're going to have a market on Saturday, May 1st from 10 to 4 p.m., um, and we have 12 vendors total. So we're going to have some tents, uh, vendors selling their items, and then Hex Coffee, they'll be selling their house roasted coffee, house baked goods, and they're also going to have a little bar cart if anyone wants a lovely Saturday afternoon drink. Um, so it's going to be a ton of fun, but we have some 
some of the small businesses from our store that will be selling there, but we also are pulling a few people from our wait list. So this initially came up as a way to try and find more opportunities to help the small business community. Like I mentioned, that huge wait list that we have, getting people from our wait list to get a chance to sell. Um, and we're really excited to see how it goes. And if it goes well, hopefully we'll be able to do it uh, monthly or every six weeks or so. That was going to be my next question was, you know, the, the plans for the future. So, so monthly, would it, would it kind of like be at different locations throughout Chicago or kind of stay in that Wicker Park general area or? Good question. So with the, with the market, we'll see how this first one goes and then we'll see if it turns into a longer partnership on the patio of Hex Coffee. Um, but we're looking for, we're looking for a ton of other opportunities. Um, maybe some places where we can do larger markets to help more small businesses. Um, we're also finalizing two more stores that were opening um, specifically for the holiday season of 2021 so November and December but trying to secure some spots just so we can get more small businesses to sell their items during that season too so we have a lot of really cool stuff in the works but yeah just really trying our best to um, see what works see what sticks uh, and run with it that's incredible from like a pop-up world i i had no idea that it was you know that you know, thriving i mean the fact that you guys are growing even looking to have more stores in general is just is fantastic yeah definitely i think just chicago has such a good emphasis as a community on small businesses so that helps us immensely what what type of products um you know are are doing well obviously it's seasonal it depends but you know is there is there one product here in chicago that viewers may not be aware of oh there's great local small businesses that sell x right in their backyard yeah well we have a lot of really cool stuff in our store um we have candles we have skincare which are the companies that anna and i own um, but then we have gold filled jewelry by kono and co we have clay jewelry by love that by grace we have woodwork um, from Nightjar Woodwork. We have beautiful art um, by Catherine Elizabeth. She does collage art. We have um, mask lanyards. We have so many cool things. Um, our store is a really good place for gifts. So like Mother's Day or birthdays or you know bridal showers, engagement gifts, things like that. A lot of people come to the store for that. Um, but yeah, I encourage everyone to come by. I think there's a little bit of something for everyone and most people leave with a, with a little bit of treasure with them. So it's, it's a fun place to be. And they're supporting local small business right here in Chicago, which is great for everyone. From, from your Instagram, it, it's incredible to see, um, you know, how much you guys have grown. And especially in, it's been, what, only six months, eight months. So that, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah, I think it's kind of crazy. It's just a Chicago community. You know, we always talk about like, oh, I wonder if we were open, open a store in like Milwaukee, if it would work or in like Grand Rapids, Michigan. And we're like, I don't know. Chicago is just so unique, you know, that we have a lot of really creative people, but also a lot of just like customers that want to support that too. So, so Monica, thank you so much for your time. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, and, and, um, the, the location for that pop-up market again, one, once again, it's by Hex Coffee. Yeah, Hex Coffee. It's 200 West Diversity Parkway, um, kind of kitty corner to the Costco that's over there if anyone needs a landmark. Um, but yeah, it's in Bucktown at Hex Coffee, H-E-X-E, -E, Hex Coffee. My thanks to Monica Little for joining us today to have this important discussion. And thank you for watching Can TV Conversations. I'm Jake Bermonde, and have a great day.